Hey everyone, Reed Hendricks with Valor Ridge. And the purpose of today's video is to help you make a better informed decision on premium ammunition that you can use for uh, self-defense, home defense, and, and other endeavors such as concealed carry. We're gonna start with rifles going for ARs and then also AKs, and then we'll finish with the pistols. I know there's other brands out there other than what I'm going to recommend, but the reason why the name of the title is <laughs> Premium Ammunition Matters is because these are the loads that I've found that not only shoot the most accurately, but have a proven track record uh, of being effective against people trying to hurt others. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, we'll start with 5.56 five, or 2.23. If you've got an AR-15 or a rifle that shoots those calibers, if this is the ammo that I would recommend for you to protect yourself uh, at any given time. I know I've done a video about home defense um, AR rifles. What I really wanted about that video is to just give an introduction to that. Here we're gonna talk about specifics. Uh, here you'll see that this is Spear Gold Dot. This one happens to be a 64 grain. They switched to making a 62 grain uh, for this ammunition. It's very accurate, light recoiling. This will work in any AR out there chambered in 223 or Wild or 556. This will work in all of them. It's a uh, molecularly bonded, Spear molecularly bonds the jacket and the lead together. It's a very nice soft shooting load that's highly accurate. It's accurate in every single one of my rifles that I shoot. And it's actually very reasonably priced. You can find this as of right now, I think for about 70 bucks for a hundred. So it's not too bad for premium self-defense ammo if you ask me. It performs very well, uh, penetrates well uh, in all the gel tests. This is a very common round for law enforcement to use in patrols. Uh, as I told you, these are the 64s, although they currently make a 62. A similar round to this is also Federal Fusion. Uh, it's also a very similar bullet to the Spear Gold Dot round. And this round is a very effective round. It would be great for home defense or it would be great for you police officers out there uh, for your patrol rifles if you're working around vehicles frequently or in places where you anticipate having uh, to take on some bad guys behind glass or any other kind of barrier. It's a very good load. Spear Gold Dot 64 grain. For those of you that are shooting older rifles that may have uh, a slower twist rate like a 1 in 12, they do make one, uh, they do make this as well in 55 grain. And for those of you running short barreled ARs for home defense, some of those SBRs or some of those pistols, 55 grain Gold Dot would be a great choice for you as well. Very inexpensive, very reasonably priced. This would be top of the list, uh, in my opinion, for premium ammo for that role. Another good load for everybody out there if you want to use uh, good ammo for self-defense is this Winchester Ranger. This is a 223. It's a PowerPoint. I know a couple other guys on YouTube have done uh, tests on this as well. I can tell you this, that I've, I've not done any like ballistic testing on this, but what I will tell you is that it's a soft shooting round. It's a soft shooting load and it is accurate. Out to 200 yards, we're able to hold uh, very tight groups with this, with this soft point ammo. This is common in law enforcement circles as well. It is a soft point. It's also been a common deer load for a long time. A lot of deer hunters across the country have used this on deer pretty effectively. What I like about it is that it, once again, it's a 223 loading. It'll work in any AR-15 out there or any other rifle chambered in 223 or 556. It's a soft shooting load. Pretty accurate as far as, I mean, accurate enough, most certainly accurate enough for, for your home defense or most certainly accurate enough for just general use. Um, would I want to take a 400 yard shot with it? Probably not. Could you? Yeah, you could get a chunk of somebody at 400 with it, but that's not what we're talking about here. We're talking about realistic shots. Uh, maybe you have to use this for home defense uh, against home invaders or anybody else. Law enforcement, I know a lot of police use this. In, for, in fact, the California Highway Patrol uh, uses this load currently. Um, it is good on soft targets. In other words, just people. It is good on that. Um, I would recommend it for police out there if you anticipate vehicles. This may not be the best load for you, but I'm not going to tell you to limit your equipment. But just, just look into that fact. But for the rest of us uh, that are going to want to use a rifle for defense or home defense, this would be a great load. Another load out there for you all, this is a copper solid, this is a, Bar a Barnes Vortex, it's a 70 grain TSX. Um, I like the heavier stuff, that's just me, I like shooting farther distances, but the uh, Barnes also makes lighter loads for this. Now you gotta be aware when you start getting into the heavier stuff, folks. I know we've been talking about the 60 grain stuff so far, 62, 64 grain, but this is heavier, this is a 70. And what you gotta watch out for is that some rifles don't shoot this very accurately. If you've got a commercial AR, 
Um, for example, a Rock River or any other brand. I'm not picking, I love Rock River stuff, don't get me wrong. Um, but if you've got a commercial AR out there, uh, in other words, not built to military specifications, they may have trouble stabilizing this as the barrel is a little too slow. Uh, you need a faster one, a 1 and 8 or a 1 and 7 generally, although I have seen some 1 and 9 stable this. You're just going to have to go out and test it, is what I'm telling you. Don't, don't believe everything that you read. Um, I mean, it's just crazy stuff, some of it. But what I'm telling you is if you want to use this heavier stuff, the heavier grain, stuff 70 75 77 go out and test it in your rifle and make sure that your rifle will stabilize it and that it shoots it accurately and once you're in the clear you're in the clear but we don't want to guess we actually want to shoot this stuff before we use it um, there's a Barnes Vortex 70 grain TSX as I said very good load it would good be a good load also out of some of the shorter barreled rifles as well but what I will explain about this is uh, there's other smaller grains such as a 62 TSX Black Hills makes that and also a 50 grain TSX Black Hills also makes makes that good rounds, they are expensive. I will tell you that. The copper solid rounds are very expensive. Expect to pay anywhere between you know, $1.50 a round and up. Uh, those are very expensive rounds uh, for what you're doing. They're accurate, they're reliable, they shoot well, very tight, and they are collar so solids, as I said, so it's going to stay together in mostly everything that you do. But, but please be aware of, of if it will shoot in your rifle, the heavier ones, you're gonna have to test it. The lighter stuff, you're gonna be fine. And that 50 grain TSX will shoot in just about any rifle. What we're looking at right here, folks, is a Federal. This is XM556 SBC T3. This is the current FBI load. This is what they use. It's a 62 grain trophy bonded bear claw. This is good ammo. It's good against barriers. It's also good on soft flesh as well. It's kind of a good all around general purpose round. Very expensive if you can find it. This is going to be close to two bucks a round. It's a good ammo. I've shot it. It's it's not world beater for accuracy, but that's not what it was designed to do. It's acceptable accuracy. I mean, you're still going to get a good vital zone hit even at 200 yards on somebody. No problem. I mean, that's I mean, we're talking here. But up close for home defense or for premium ammo, this is good to go if you can find it. Uh, would it be my first choice? Probably not. It wouldn't be my first choice. It's great ammo. I mean, it's Top, one of the top loads that you can use out there, but um, I, I like the other stuff as we've already mentioned, but don't feel compromised on this. I would definitely load my stuff up and be good to go with this. It's good ammo, but it's expensive. Uh, I do want you to be aware of that. This is the cousin to the Federal. This is at Winchester uh, Bonded Ranger as well. This is 5.56. The last two that I just showed you were 5.56. Actually, the last three. The Barnes was 5.56, Federal's 5.56, and so is the Ranger here. This this is bonded. Uh, this is made by, by Winchester. Obviously, it's a bonded solid base bullet. This is the other FBI load. This is the other load that they adopted. It's, an, it's a Nosler bullet from what I understand. These shoot okay. I mean, they do shoot okay out of all the rifles that I've used. I've, I've used quite a few rifles to test this ammo, and these were, you know, this is not the most accurate load out there. It, it most certainly wasn't. It wasn't horrible. It wasn't atrocious, but it wasn't the most accurate ammo out there for all of you interested. Uh, very good though. Very good on flesh. Very good on barriers and all that. It passes those with flying colors, but once again, expensive. If you can find this, expect to, I mean, it's expensive ammo. I mean, it's closer to $2 a round, folks. I mean, expect to pay that. Maybe $1.50, $2 a round. Uh, not cheap if you're just going to want to go out and get it and stock up on a bunch of it or go out and practice it all. It's very costly. Good ammo, very reliable hot it's very hot stuff and it does work I just I enjoy them it wouldn't be my first choice as I said but don't you're not compromised like everyone that I've mentioned to you here is, is world-class ammo it's premium stuff every amount of ammo that I've mentioned for the 556 rifle I would use any one of those loads okay you're not compromised on it it's good stuff I just gave it to you in my order of preference that's me how they shoot their proven track record etc so uh, I know that there's other good ones out there and if I didn't mention it it's not anything personal it's just this is why I wanted to make this video to give you guys my recommendations on it if you want to give your recommendations start a channel and then make videos in your spare time when you have it all right folks we'll cover some 762 by 39 loadings that I enjoy AKs SKS's rifles that shoot those calibers. Um, the ones that I really like in AKs are this one right here, uh, the Corbon. This is an older box of Corbon, it's 150 grain uh, jacketed soft point, but they do make a new line of this stuff of Corbon called DPX, which is 123 grain, uh, three grain copper solid, I believe, very accurate ammo. In fact, Jim Fuller showed me some targets that uh, he shot out at distance with his AK DMR, and it was impressive. I mean, we are talking some tight shooting stuff, and Corbon makes good ammo in general, but uh, their AK DPX ammo is, is by far 
the most accurate 762 by 39 ammo that I've, I've seen shot through AKs and that I've shot through it myself. It's good ammo. Highly recommend the Corbon in either the jacketed soft point or the, the newer DPX that they put out. All right, folks, if you can see this, uh, this is Lapua 762 by 39. They make a great jacketed soft point as well. This is older. <laughs> this is an older box. I've had this one put away forever. Uh, price $9.95. Boy, good luck finding it for that price now, but I miss the good old days, don't you, sometimes? Although not so bad anymore. I guess we're entering a new era of optimism, but um, this is Lapua. Uh, it's, it's good ammo. It's from Finland. They make good stuff. If you can find Lapua 7.62x39, they're jacketed soft points, solid. I think they make lighter ones as well in the 120s, I believe a 125. Uh, this one uh, is good shooting ammo, folks, and the brass is reloadable and they make good stuff. So if you can get a hold of some of that in 7.62x39, feel free to do so. Another loading in 7.62x39 that I don't have a box of because I shot it is the Hornady SST. Very good round as well. On to pistol ammo, folks, and this is my recommendations for pistol ammo. This is the one that I carry every day, Federal HST 124s. This is the load that I love. It's the most accurate shooting gun. Excuse me. It's the most accurate shooting ammo out of all of my guns, all of the pistols that I own across the board. In all of them, this shoots the most consistently, the most accurately, and it is just good, tight shooting ammo. Federal has worked on this one for a while and they put it out and it's great stuff. This is Federal HST. It doesn't matter what caliber, 940 or 45, all of it shoots very well. This happens to be nine because that's what I carry. Um, if you carry a nine, I'd highly recommend Federal HSTs and standard pressure or plus P. They're both unbelievably great shooting rounds and they've both shot excellent in all of my guns that I've had. And of course, the last pistol round that I'll recommend here is Spear Gold Dot. This is 9mm once again as I shoot, that's what I shoot, I shoot 9, but this, they make it in every caliber that you can think of it's, that's used for self-defense. Uh, Spear makes great ammo, folks, and this is the original Gold Dot line. They've got a newer one, but I like the regular Gold Dot, their standard Gold Dot that's been around forever for a long time. I shoot uh, 124s, although there's other stuff out there. I know you got 147s. I would avoid the light stuff. I would stick with the medium or heavier weight round if you're carrying a 9. Um, this is gold dot and this is the 124 grain. I use plus P, but I also use the standard pressure. I will warn y'all, if you're carrying a smaller pistol, like you know, a micro pistol, like an XD, like the real small XDs or the real small 1911s or the real small nine millimeter guns that, are, that were designed to be extremely concealable like Glock 43, You'd probably want to use the plus P version of this. We need to push it just a little bit hotter out of that in order to do what it's supposed to do in order to get the expansion. If you don't, it's not going to expand. So we want the plus P in the, sh in the smaller pistols. So um, com a medium size or a full size gun, like a, a Glock 19 or a Glock 17 or a Smith & Wesson M&P, any standard size gun like that, you can use standard pressure. It's good to go. Although plus P is not a big deal either. Just pick one, see which one shoots the best out of your gun and roll with it. So everyone, those are my picks for premium ammo. That's, that's what I believe is to be the best ammo that I've shot. I've, I've gotten the best performance out of all those. And I'm trying to give you guys the best advice. What I know is the most accurate, the most reliable, consistent performing ammunition with a proven track record of stopping people trying to hurt others. Um, Spear Gold Dots used by New York Police Department. 40,000 police officers use that load in 9mm. So it must work. It has to work when they hit. Um, all seriousness aside, I got some buddies up in New York Police Department, but um, all joking aside, guys and gals, choose what works best in your gun. You got a couple of op options. Buy a box of, of various brands, see what works best in your gun, see what works reliably, and then carry it. We want to use premium ammo in our guns for our self-defense, for our rifles, and for our pistols because most times with this, most times with these name, these common brands that have been around for decades, you get exactly what you pay for. If you found the information in the video helpful, subscribe to the channel, follow me on Facebook, that link is down below. And if you want to get some training on your pistol or your rifle, come on out to Valor Ridge and we'll teach you how to do just that. This is Reed Hendricks with Valor Ridge reminding you, the lessons that we learn are written on the tombstones of others. We'll see you on the ridge.